Hey gang, it's Ross with TrainWise Fitness and Performance and RunWise Coaching. Coming back at you today with another product review. We're going to be checking out the Solomon Skin Pro 10. Stay tuned. Alright guys, here it is. It's the, Sco the Solomon Skin Pro 10. This is a new pack from Solomon, replacing the ever-popular Skin Pro 10 Plus 3. This is a really great uh, pack and vest. Uh, they've designed this for whatever your needs be. Uh, so it's not just a trail running vest. This is something you could use for cycling, uh, climbing, day hikes, what have you. Because you do have this really nice, wonderful 10 liter pack attached to the back of your Sense of Stretch fabric vest that you'd be familiar with from the uh, S-Lab 5 and 12 sets, okay? Fits just like those. Feels real similar, the only difference is, like I said, they've attached this 10 liter pack to it, which is great. This is the pack I'd wish I'd had when I was running the uh, death race back in March. I had a lot of required gear and I could have used this nice deep pack. You know, I was having to carry a thermal shirt, jacket, uh, had to have a space blanket, headlamp, extra batteries. I mean, all that stuff had to be on me at all the time. Plus, I had to carry a railroad spike. Would have been really nice to have something like this that was zippered and secured, because if you dropped that railroad spike and you didn't have it when you finished, you didn't get a finish on that. So, one of the nice features in here, as you will notice, they've got the little slot right up in here where you can store the uh, your space blanket or some other materials, your wallet keys, what have you, that you don't want to jostle around all down on the bottom of this pack. Uh, really nice little storage organizer. It does not come uh, with that space blanket. So that's something you have to purchase outside of it. Uh, you know, unlike those uh, S-Lab 3 and 5 set and 12 set there. So that's just a little side note for you. Uh, the pack is wonderfully fit. Again, it's that sense of stretch fabric. So when you put it on, it's going to move. It's going to breathe with you. It does include the two elastic bottle holders in the front to help you hold those hydration bottles, those 500 milliliter bottles. I will tell you, it does not come with the bottles, uh, so don't expect those with it. These are the bottles I've pulled from my uh, S-Lab vest. But this does include a one and a half liter bladder, okay? So you get, get the separate section, you get the insulated bladder sleeve, the one and a half liter bladder, hose, drinking tube, all comes right up there. It's a real simple plug and play operation. You plug it in, you hook it up, it fits right down in here, right up against your back. That isolated bladder sleeve is great, or insulated, not isolated, it's uh, great. It keeps your, helps keep your water cold, helps keep your body heat from raising the temperature of that water. Um, I personally don't drink ice water when I'm out, uh, worried about dehydration, but like I said, it does keep that water the temperature you had it, so you're not increasing it with your body temperature. Uh, vest does come with a whistle, as with most Solomon uh, products. So that's a great little feature. You've already got that safety whistle attached on there. So further looking at the front of the vest, you've got on either side, you have these nice little stretch pockets. These are good and deep. I can get my whole hand down in there. So you can fit quite a bit in there, whether it's your salt tablets, chews, what have you. You've got them on either side, and like I said, they're pretty deep on either side. Another nice feature is you do have a single zippered pocket on the side. I wish it had two, but you've got one, and uh, it's a sizable pocket. I can get my whole arm up in here, so you can put all the, all the nutrition you may need, uh, your extra bags of uh, your drink mix, whatever. Uh, all that will fit in there. On this side, you've just got an elastic pocket. Uh, they do not have a kangaroo pocket on this like you'll find on the S-Lab vest. But you do have the, this pocket right here. You can stick plenty of stuff in it. It'll store it there. It's not going anywhere when it's attached to you because it does kind of wrap around. So, I'd, you know, again, you can slide some drink mixes in there, whatever you need, some nutrition stuff you might want some quick access to. Uh, that way you've just got everything right there where you need it. They do route the drinking tube under the arm. Uh, took me no problem to get used to that. When we put it on, I'm going to show you why that's a, a benefit for you in a minute. Looking up here at the straps of the pack, you have adjustable straps right here. 
so that you can adjust the ride height of the pack as to where it sits on your back. You've also got the 4D uh, holder here. It's marked in blue, so this is the one that's going to hold the water or hold your bladder up so that you're not dropping everything down. So you've got that reservoir nice and in place while you're running. You've also got your 4D pull loop here. So, so that you can wrap up your, your running poles if you so desire. And you can run them from the top here, across the pack to the di diagonal, attach them into here, keep them there really well. The other option you have, you've got fold up poles. You can fold them up. They can sit right here on the side. You'll have pretty easy access to them. So you'll notice you've got these two tabs on either side. They say that's for easy attachment for a helmet. Um, I don't really mountain bike a whole lot. I don't really do a whole lot of climbing, so I'm not gonna attach a helmet. But it's nice to have that uh, little bit of elastic looping there. If I wanna take my uh, trucker hat off, I can attach it there, no problem. Uh, so you do have that as an option. And you've also got this adjustable uh, nylon strapping down here where you can throw your jacket if you need to. Uh, again, you could probably set a helmet pretty easily up in here. And I've also seen where you could slide the ski poles in here. Uh, just adjust down, you can cinch it down, tighten it up. Have really, really easy access to that. Okay, so let's check out the fit of the vest. This is a one size fits all vest. You do not have to order a size. I'm 5'10", about 155 pounds on a, on a given day. And uh, this vest fit just fine out of the box. I am actually setting on the uh, largest setting uh, as far as the expansion of it. And it does still have room to expand. So unlike the uh, S-Lab vest, you have these much thicker, much more noticeable straps that come across, hold everything down. They actually snap into place. I don't know if you can hear that or not. I'm gonna bring it up here close to the microphone. And it's got that click. It gives you a really solid hold there, okay? Uh, I haven't had any problems with my S-Lab vest and the uh, cord that comes through and that it attaches to, but you do have these nylon clips here on either side. And you've got a pretty good configuration. You've got two at the bottom, you've got four in the middle, so you can really adjust this to where you need it. And then you've got two more up top if you really want to have uh, your straps running up higher. Yeah, it just depends on the person on the frame. Um, probably make this pack a little bit better for women so that you're not having to run straps right across the chest. You can kind of uh, work around things there. And Going back here to the uh, bladder tube, or your drinking tube here. Wasn't really sure what to think about the underarm routing. Um, I've never used it before. Really, really simple. I will say if you leave it up here when you're running, it's gonna hit you in the head saying, drink me, drink me, drink me, drink me. Um, so what I do, and you'll see that in the video, I've got the bladder tube, or the uh, drinking tube just kind of pulled down here. It doesn't rub, doesn't chafe. Tighten things up you're good to go. This is a great pack. Moves and stretches with you. Like I said, you've got your got your elastic pockets here. You can pretty much access things. Zippered pocket and this side pocket here that you can set things in. It's a little bit harder to get back here to things. Um, so, you, you know, there may be times where you've got to actually take it off. But like I said, the pack fits really well. Uh, if you want to adjust this pack, like I said, it's one size fits all. You've got these two little tabs here. It's gonna say small, medium, and large. All you do, just pull those tabs together. You can get a little more secure, tighter fit if you so desire. Uh, that way it's not gonna bounce. Um, I will tell you, I had zero bounce with this pack on the runs I've put it through. Uh, I've loaded it down with water, uh, done a lot of point-to-point -point runs, zero issues with chafing. Again, this is that sense of stretch fabric you'd be familiar with with the S-Lab vest. And, uh, very, very well made, great uh, and comfortable vest. Didn't even really feel like I was wearing anything out there. And uh, I look forward to putting it through its paces on my next 100 miler. All right, gang. Again, thanks for checking out my review of the Solomon Skin Pro 10. Again, 10 liter pack, sense of stretch fabric. Looks very similar on the front to the S-Lab vest. Fits just like the S-Lab vest. 9.8 ounces, 279 grams, uh, if you want to put that in metric conversions, pretty lightweight pack. Uh, again, it's going to have all the storage space you need. This does come in a 15 liter version as well, uh, so that's something else you can look at if you feel like you need a little bit more storage than that. Again, this is just a well-fitting, well-made uh, pack and vest. 
going to take you through anything you need. Uh, this is going to be my new day hiking vest, as well as my new vest for anything over 50 miles. Uh, just, I really like this. I can hold everything, and it is just a beast of a pack. Holds everything I need. Uh, like I said, I do wish it had a second zippered pocket on the side. I really like those zippered pockets to secure everything. Again, not a big deal, not a uh, game changer on this, and uh, not a reason I wouldn't look at this vest uh, myself. It's so well made, well constructed, going to last you a long time. Like I said, does not include the bottles, does include the uh, one and a half liter reservoir with the insulated sleeve and your drinking tube. Okay, so that's a, that's a great value. Uh, you get those items in there, so you are going to be able to go ahead and get out there and run out, uh, run with some water. Uh, and you can purchase these bottles separately from Solomon or other sites. And uh, again, I hope you guys get out there. See you on the trails. Look forward to meeting many of you at uh, any of these events that we're running. And again, with Trainwise Fitness and Performance and Runwise Coaching, I'm Ross Wise. And don't forget to run smarter, run harder, and run wise.